Hi, I'm Anna. <laughs> and I'm Kendall. What? <laughs> Today's April 30th, 2015. I'm not looking at the camera. And uh, there's 13 days left of school. Yeah. What else do you have to say? Oh, I'm in the DNN room. one many, many, many years ago. Stop years. recording me! You're Satan. Terror. My mom started chasing me. Ew! Saturday that's Street. Weave! And so I called her Satan. There was Weave on me. Well. Stop recording me! It's not funny! <laughs> when I say I'm like, hey, yeah. Uh, you know. I'm Kyle. It's Kyle again. You'd fuck shit up. Can you do the like, I can't put that in now that you cuss. Oh. Sorry. I'll put it in anyway. It's YouTube. <laughs> Do not snort that. Ew. That pixie stick. <laughs> right there. <laughs> For this orange slice. It's a good orange, too. <laughs> no! Stick. You're not gonna do it? Come on, you're on camera. Do it. Do it. Pussy. Got this. No. Snort it. Snort it. No. Everybody knows you're a pussy. I know I am. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do, do it! it. We'll do do it, it, it after me. Yeah, after you. Okay. I promise. <laughs> this much. That much. Right, you have to do this for twice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> do, it. do it! Do it, you pussy! <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> On the side of the watch, like right here on the side, and if you turn it to scroll. It. <laughs> why we're making up. The, real? We're making up why I say the. Why not something wait, real, wait, Billy? I don't care. Why not your orange? You know, I can't do it. I only have five more days to like graduate. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what it was supposed to be, he always asked me dumb things, and I always go, wait, wait, no, don't care, don't care, <laughs> don't care. What is your most memorable moment? It's funny you should ask, Brittany. My most memorable moment here at Papa High School is freshman year when there was a bomb threat and we stood outside in the rain for like an hour. It was ridiculous. And I had just drawn on my eyebrows for like the first time and it was raining and they came off. And I had to walk around the rest of the day without eyebrows. That was pretty embarrassing. So I remember that. Eyebrow game, not on fleek. Not at all. Mm -mm. Anna, where are you going to be in 10 years? In 10 years, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, but I want it to involve journalism or film production. I want to be traveling a lot, and I want to be just happy and have a lot of money. Yeah. The camera's right here! <laughs> One thing that I've learned these last four years that I haven't learned in a classroom is that nothing in life is guaranteed and sometimes things happen 
and you just have to accept it and move on and stop wasting your time worrying about things you can't change. One of the most memorable moments from DNN these past four years has been our Christmas parties because we did Secret Santa and they were just always so much fun and everyone just had such a good time and no one argued on that day, or at least in my classes. And, you know, it was something I'm not going to forget, just the experience and all the food, too. It was really good. One of the funniest things that happened in DNN was when we were filming our music video for Future So Bright, and Eddie and Mario decided to take off all of their clothes and run across the football field. It was really funny, and just the look on everyone's faces from Jim that were on the track was just great. You know, it's something that I'm never going to forget. And it was really cold out, too, when they did it, so it was just hysterical. <laughs> My favorite movie of this year was Cinderella. <laughs> oh my god, my prince! <laughs> uh, the teacher that I would like to thank is Mr. Seho because, you know, he's made these last four years less miserable and he's always just really funny and you know, sometimes he's crabby, but he's still funny and he makes things enjoyable. And, you know, he teaches with, like, his heart and not out of a book. You know, we're not to a certain curriculum, and I've always really enjoyed that because it just gives you a break from everything. And all the other teachers don't do that. You know, I feel like he really genuinely loves what he does, and you can see that every single day. And I've seen it for the past four years every single day. And it's just amazing, and, you know, I really do look up to him. Well, tomorrow is my last day of high school, and you know, I'm really excited, but also really nervous to be graduating and you know, going to college and everything. Um, but just to kind of wrap this up, how I want you all to remember me, you know, um, just don't forget me. You know, I, for those that knew me, I want to be remembered as just a fun person and a good friend and someone that always tried their hardest, even though. I wasn't, you know, quite an athlete or the best student, but I did try, and you know, I want people to remember that, and just don't forget me, <laughs> and yeah, well, it's been a great four years, and I guess I'll see myself in five years from now watching this, so, um, hi, I hope everything worked out the way you wanted it to, <laughs> bye. Mendel. Excuse you, no paparazzi. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna sign. Hey, you found one! She says sign by your heart. face. Yeah, that was weird. Is this on Snapchat or something? Ah, uh, uh, what is this? Ah, uh, uh, Sylvester! Okay. What up? <laughs> I'm like, at least we can go. So, like, what do you think? Do you, did you think that girl was pretty? How did that girl even get in here? Do you see her? She's so short, and that dress is so tacky. Who wears cheetah? It's not even summer. Why does the DJ keep on playing summertime sadness? After you get out of the bathroom, can we go smoke a cigarette? I really need one. But first, let me take a selfie.
I want to look tan. What should my caption be? I want it to be clever. How about living with my bitches, hashtag live. I only got 10 likes in the last five minutes. Do you think I should take it down? Let me take another selfie. Feeling much worse 
I know you're in a better place, but it's always gonna hurt. Carry on, give me all the strength I need to carry on. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Today's April. What's today? Oh, today is April 29th, 2015. I'm. No, it's okay. It's okay. I think I got it. <laughs> I want. I want to thank Scale and Ms. Jared from Pop High School and the Squad, Sierra and Alana. Miss um, Jared has helped me realize what I want to do with my life, and that is major in English history. It's something that I've always loved, but now I really realize that it's something I want to do with my life. And Scahill, he has always helped me throughout all of high school with all my issues with friends and schoolwork and everything. So I really appreciate that skill. Thank you. Okay, it's April 28th. And I'm Eliza Drew. Hi, it's Kendall Fairbanks. Today is April 15th, 2015. And I'm <laughs> um, in 10 years, I hope to see myself um, pursuing a career in history. I really want to study English history, and I hope that I can be either like a museum curator or a um, professor. <laughs> and if that doesn't work out, moment from a teen in class of going to Harbin. It was not only stressful for Scahill, but it was stressful for all the people participating in it. Um, those couple months before were crazy. Um, I had I, My video was a documentary and I placed third, which I was happy with, but I wish I would have placed farther up. Um, my video was a documentary I placed third, which I was okay with. I would have much rather placed first because my video was something that was very meaningful to me. Um, the Harbin made me feel like I was something. The Harbin made me feel like I was participating in something that was like it really made a difference. Um, not all the videos were about something tragic or whatever. They were just things that made you laugh and made you cry. It made me really happy to be a part of it. Today's April, wait, what's today? It's the 30th? Today's April 30th, 2015. I am in Skagel's corner thing. Uh, my most memorable moment at a pop guy school is winning states this year. Um, it was really memorable because we were all part of a family and we all fought for what we wanted. Today's May 17th, 2015. I am in the car. My favorite song from my favorite song from this year is Nighting from this Decade. It's actually from the 60s, I think. It's May 18, 2015. I'm in the TV production studio. The funniest thing that happened in DNA class was when the chair broke under Scahill and he fell on the ground. It was funny. And then as soon as it happened, we were all like, oh my god. And we were like, are you okay? Are you okay? It, just, it was mostly funny because it happened in like almost slow motion. It was like the Matrix. <laughs> the most important lesson I learned over the past four years is don't stress over the little things. I'm a big stressor myself, so this was really hard for me to not do, but 
over the past four years I learned through hard times that it's not always important. It's not always going to matter later on in life. The schools always make it seem like it's the biggest thing that's going to happen ever in your life, but it may be at the time, but 20 years from now, not really. I want to be remembered as not only the girl with the beautiful red hair, but as someone that made you happy, that made you laugh, and that was someone that was always there for you. This is cool. Nope. Wait. Don't care. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit get up. First shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy up. Yeah. Glad, moonwalking. And this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all way. Chrome music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yeah, I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T Just hustling, chasing dreams since I was 14 With the fortress bustin' Halfway across that city with the back, 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 back Question, labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing We give that to the people, spread it across the country Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing we give it to the people, spread it across the country Here we go back, this is the moment Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can hold us Here we go back, this is the moment Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can I'm meeting at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark We walk, time to go off, I'm gone Deuces, goodbye, I got a world to see And my girl, she wanna see Rome Caesar, make you a believer now I never ever did it for a throne That validation comes from giving it back to the people now Sing this song and it goes like Raise those hands, this is our party We came here to live life like nobody was watching I got my city right behind me If I fall, they got me Learn from that failure, gain humility And then we keep marching, yeah, I we said go back. It's a rainy day in Florida, typical. But where I see myself in 10 years would probably be somewhere owning my own businesses like Georgia or California, hopefully. And if I haven't started my family already, probably starting one. So we're on our way to Jacksonville for the state meet. It's May 2nd. It's a Saturday. It's pretty beautiful. Um, <laughs> there's rabbit ass <laughs> and Nakia, Miss Swordfish. <laughs> then you got Anaya. You haven't said anything stupid yet. And then I mean, it's Kiara. What do you expect? 
Yeah, and I'm excited to see the boys run. Yes. That could have been us, but nation. <laughs> but we're not gonna talk about that. If people will move out the way, we can make it there in like 40 minutes. Oh, said you're gonna be there 40 minutes. No, I was just <laughs> anyways. See you later. One thing I didn't get taught in the classroom was how to pay bills. And I'm still learning to this day. Well, I will one day because I haven't started paying bills, but I will one day. My favorite song ever is probably Trina Look Look Back At It or something like that. I know every single lyric to that song and I can't say it because it is very vulgar. That's the word. So just go YouTube it or something. My favorite moment <laughs> in high school would probably be nothing because I never went. <laughs> there were so many people I want to thank at Apopka High School, but the main person I would that I could think of right now is my old bus driver. She never left me. Even in those days, I was coming so slow and I was running late. She never left me. So I want to say thank you to Miss Chrissy. One thing that I won't miss about high school is dealing with all the people that you don't like. Oh. <clears throat> Damn, and waking up early because 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock was not, uh-uh, just wasn't. My favorite movies of 2015 will be Fast and Furious 7 with Paul Walker. One of the funniest things that happened to me in Scahill's class would probably be, I don't know, like, I just say stuff at the top of my head that I kind of don't speak or think before I speak, not in a bad way. Like, I can have a lot of blonde moments, but whatever. You gotta just know me. If, if I could go back to, at any time in high school, I would probably go back to my 10th and 11th grade year and not have slacked off and been lazy because I'm a really late. <laughs> my favorite thing Skyhill has said was rabbit ass. Rabbit ass. Because the girls used to wear puffs or buns on top of their head. Like, and Maya. Like a rabbit like Maya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 27 more days till you graduate. It's kind of bittersweet. Only because, you know, I'm not really sure what I want to do with my life right now. Well, I know what I want to do, but school-wise, no. And it's kind of sad when all your friends have got accepted to schools out of state, you know, Florida, Florida State, and... Yeah, I'm most likely going to a community college, which nothing's wrong with that, but I didn't really see myself here still. Well, it's coming to the end of my senior year. I have two days left, and it, I'm really excited. At first, I was nervous because I didn't know where I'm going, but I'm going to Seminole Community College. I will be majoring in either business management or some type of communications. I'm really, really excited to start this adventure off of being a responsible young lady and I'm ready to prove everybody that I can, that I know what I'm doing and that I'm gonna be successful with whatever I do. Uh, as of right now, I work at Taco Bell. I've been working there for a while. Um. My friends, they're still the same friends. I'm ready to just start our next phase in our life. I've grew up with these people, and I'm just ready to see what, who's going to be the doctor, who's going to be the lawyers, who's going to be the bums. I'm just ready to see that. And I'm going to miss some people, but it's life. So, yeah, that's it. Bye. It's been a break. Break. Hey, say one of the 
when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different See the bigger picture, those were So, where will I be in 10 years? Mm. Hopefully, I'll be a game warden Protecting the little animals and stuff Um most memorable moment out of Popka High School. I guess all the fights and finding all the weave on the ground. It's pretty great. Um, the most memorable moment from a DNN or TV class. Mm. I don't know, I guess Scahill's smart, smart-ass comic comments, honestly. He's a, you, you, you're, you're pretty, pretty smart-ass, Mr. Scahill. Uh, that's, that's probably my most memorable, all your little remarks, yeah. Um, the funniest thing that ever happened is when Kayla Johnson showed us, no, no, just Kayla Johnson is, is the funniest thing that ever happened at a DNN classroom. She is her every day. She's funny. She makes a class. What is one thing that you would remember or Scahill said? Um, oh, when he's like, are you done? D-U-N, done. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably the... One thing I will remember about him. And I'll use it myself. And it's pretty good. And this is my room. Oh. Little deer. Yep. Oh, there's Bree. Bree! It's my girlfriend. My flag. Where's my flag? Oh. In Afghanistan. I flew in Afghanistan on a B-52. My uncle's in the military. 30 years. Hey, this is uh, my little workout room. <laughs> yeah, there was a TV there, but... So... What's the hardest thing about high school? Um, I think finding out who your friends are, honestly. And a major thing that I didn't learn in high school, or that I didn't learn in a classroom is, man, you can't be shy. You gotta go, go get what you want. For example, girls, uh, if you're shy and you sit back, I promise you someone else is going to take that role for you. So just don't be shy. The worst answer you can get is no. But, uh, yeah. Hey, so, the people I'd like to thank are um, everyone I've met at AHS. My friends, not my friends. Just so I can see how people act differently. And I know who my true friends are. Uh, I wouldn't change a thing um, about my high school back in the day. Like, I wouldn't change a single thing in my high school career. And my favorite movie is probably American Sniper. The most recent one I've seen is American Sniper. My favorite song is probably uh, Fade to Black by Metallica. And I'm a senior about to graduate in high school. And um, I'm going to move on 
and life to college and become a game warden eventually. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Hart and I, it is the day before my AP gum test. I don't know exactly what day it is, it's like early May and um, lots of fun. And I am in the DNN room sitting next to Austin DeGross. He's not that fun. Um, yeah. What was the best song of the year? The best song of the year was Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Do you know that song is actually part of communism? Like, that's a thing. Okay. Um, what was the best movie of the year? I'm going to get back to you on that one. Where will I be in 10 years? I'm going to be making money. I'm going to be able to bring my dog to work. I'm going to have a cabana boy. I'm going to have a pizza oven. That's like life goals right there, you know? Uh, I'd like to be an architect as of this moment, but I'm like, I don't want it to change, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. I used to want to be a journalist, but then I realized, then I had like this weird dream where I didn't want to be, and uh, it's complicated. Um, so I think... I'd like, I don't know, I want to live in a city. That's all I can say for now. So I'm out front of the band room because I actually spent my freshman and sophomore year in band and it was kind of a big part of my, you know, life back then. Alright, so I'm in front of the library because I spent a lot of time at the library at a pop guy high school. Kind of a nerd, but yeah, whatever. Um, I told you about the best movie of the year. I figured it out. The best movie of the year was definitely... It's called The Book of Life. It's like an animated movie. It's actually about Dia de los Muertos, which falls on my birthday. So that's cool. You know, whatevs. Mexican holidays, my thing. I know, I'm cool. Uh, most memorable moment at Apopka High School was when, I hope my parents aren't watching this, was when I broke out of school right before Thanksgiving break. And, or was it Christmas break? I don't know. It was like sophomore year. It was a lot of fun. I don't know why we why we did that, and it was so crazy too. Like it was like gearing up for it, okay? And we were all nervous, pumped, whatever. I had like a few seniors with me. I was I broke out with seniors, of course, because who else has cars? <laughs> um, and so I was pretty much the only one nervous now that I think about it. But we we're walking to their car. And there's like another guy who gets busted right next to us, like not even 50 feet away. Like, and he starts running from the deans, and oh my god, it like it freaked me out so bad. But I still did it, so I guess that's kind of like you know a bad thing. Whatever. Please don't like ground me, parents. I'll be in college by now. I can't do anything. Haha. -ha. All right. One thing that I did in the last four years that I did not learn in a classroom is how to be motivated. Motivation is a big thing and it's something that I take very seriously. A lot of people don't have it and you know while I'm not the best student or the smartest, like I'm not naturally gifted at math or science, but I am motivated to get an A and that, that is something that I Sunshine, uh, Miss Rubio, Miss McLeod, obviously. Um, and really, anyone who's ever like believed in me and helped me get a good grade, I like you. Scale, you're you're up there. You're on there too. I like to thank you. For once again, what for? I'm not really sure. I would like to be remembered as like really funny, really cute, and like that person president or become a millionaire whichever one comes first I guess would be kind of cool but like you know 20 years people are going to know my name whether I want them to or not some a lot of these
these people are really. You know what? Scratch that. I don't want a lot of people know my name. But, like, I'm gonna be banking. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so, where will I be in 10 years? That's a good question. 10 years? I plan to be in Florida. And, um, somewhere in the central Florida area. Um, I plan to have a job in computer science and information or information technology. Um, maybe have a wife and have a house or apartment. Alright, so the most memorable moment at the DNN class is spending time with these amazing people right here. Hey. hey! I'm Anna. That's Anna. I'm Serena. I'm, I'm just I'm just guys with Yes, and um, <laughs> let's see, what's... I'm already... Here, what's your most memorable moment? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, we, I don't know. The most memorable moment good. is going to the States and hanging out with my friends. Hey, I, was... I saw you. I saw both of you. Yes. And I lost my seat saying hi to you. Lost the seat. Remember? Yeah, so... That was great. Hey! Why? Love you, Tree. And Tree's future wife and Love kids. You, Love you guys. I'll see. Tree, don't get Sometime. married in five years. Or don't have kids in five years. That's bad. What if he does have kids in five years? Um, so the funniest thing that happened. Why don't you try And, I, wait, I can't. Oh, I can see myself this way. Okay. Oh, you're so smart. Alright, okay. But the funniest thing that happened in being in class was when Diva KJ, aka Kayla Johnson, started singing. And we put her on the DNN. And it was a great moment. Right, Anna? Right? It was great. I bet you just caught me taking a selfie. Yes. For Snapchat. Snapchat. Will Snapchat be popular in five years? Who knows? Probably. Probably not. Probably. Probably not, to be honest. Snapchat will not be popular. Oh, that's Lucas right there. Yeah. All right, um, so yeah, it's the answer to my question. What was the funniest thing? Um, hardest thing about high school was, you know, keeping my grades up um, when it was close to the end of the year, because once it's close to the end of the year, you really don't want to do anything, especially as a senior, senior writer, a real disease still trying to find a cure for it but um yeah um what are we talking about mm. yeah that was a hard time in high school probably be my sophomore year kind of slacked off a lot that year I think I rem remember ending up with four C's on my final report card for sophomore year. But yeah, I would change um, maybe my priorities that year and how I did things. Alright, so um, someone I like to thank is this girl right here, Jasmine. She's my best friend. Um, We've known each other since freshman year, mm -hmm. and yeah. it was an English class, right? Yep. With Shetler. And Shetler. Yeah. Fun times. Fun times. Um, yeah, but she's a great person, and I'm going to miss her when I go to college, so. Um, yeah. I did not expect that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Guys, can you, like, be quiet at the video and stuff? <laughs> Alright, so our favorite movie. Oh, by the way, this is Alex, my best friend. My guy, best friend. Yeah. Our favorite movie is The Avengers. Yeah. Pretty awesome. You should go watch it. But, but yeah, watch it on Netflix. It's probably on Netflix now since it's five years later, but go watch it. That's right. Alright, All right, so one thing I remember Skyhill saying is, You need to. Uh, like, he basically said it when like somebody would say what like more than one time. It's funny. It's pretty funny. It's funny. Ha <laughs> ah, ah. ha. <laughs>
classroom that I still learn is to choose your friends wisely because some people are just out there to get you you know that's right isn't that right Lucas yeah yeah so choose your friends wisely that's right all right so we're on three more days of high school and yeah that's about it so I'm almost done with high school three more days that's it finally say hi Skate Hill hey women it's tree it's tree show you how, how tall tree is yeah. this is Skate Hill yes. all you can see is his head yes it's sad, he's short and old. Not like Tree, young, yeah. fabulous. Young. Thank you, Jimmy, in I guess five years. I don't know if you'll remember this, but when you were in 10th grade, you took a class called DNN, Daughter News Network. It's your high school mascot, okay? Yeah. You'll remember that totally. Anyways, so for the end of the year project, we had to do this video diary. So, I guess let's begin with the first question. Where will you be in 10 years? Um, I don't know, like most kids hope when they grow up they want to go to college, want to get a good job, married, kids, the whole, sh the whole shebang pretty much. Hopefully it will be with my, my significant other. It, it will be. Don't call me crazy. It'll end, it'll end up like this. Trust me. Okay? Okay, I sound totally insane. Okay. But, yeah, I'm just hoping things all turn out for the best. And I still have no idea what I want to be when I grow up. But, whatever I do, I, I just want to do something that makes a difference. Uh, like, I'm not quite sure yet, but it'll all work out. I know it will. Let's see, next question. What's your most memorable moment at Apopka High School? That'd probably be being on the water polo team because when I was in ninth grade, I was very unathletic. I could barely walk up two flights of stairs without like having a heart attack. No, 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 not that bad. But I was not what you call very athletic at all. So it's getting tiring holding it like this. Um, so I was like, hey, I want to join a sport, so let's let's do water polo, yeah. And of course, like, the first practice, I could barely make it halfway across the pool. And I was like, oh, yeah, what did I get myself into? Welcome to my couch, never one of my main places that I hang out because I have no life and no friends. Hey, okay, okay. Dramatics aside, let's get on with the questions. Yay! Exciting. Um, what was the funniest thing that ever happened from a DNN or TV class? That'd be a hard one. There's a lot of funny stuff that went on this year. And I am horrible at, remem at remembering what, like, people said. Like, I can I can remember like dates fine. I can remember when the fall of Rome happened, but I can't remember like what happened like or what you said to me like 
two minutes ago. It's just very sad. Um, anyways, probably the funniest thing would be, um, hmm, this is a tough one. It'd probably be, um, probably Kayla singing on the DNN because when, during my first period I was watching that, I was like, what the heck is going on here? And then my teacher was like, yeah, enough of this and this, like, just like turned off the DNN and everyone was like, oh, alrighty then. It was, it was, it was very interesting. That's my brother in the background. He's, Chris, shh. Okay. That's better. Let's see, next question. What is one thing you'll remember that Scahill said or did? Hmm, that's also never a tough one too because as I mentioned before, I'm horrible at remembering like what people said. And I guess the whole thing of how Scale keeps like, going on about Elias and his, fi his fighting, I guess that's, that, that, that's been pretty funny. And hmm, I guess the, the, you need to... That's also been pretty funny too. So I don't know. It's I don't, I don't know. All the stuff he's said pretty much is pretty funny. So let, let, let's just go on. What is the hardest thing about high school? Um, let's see. For me, it'd probably be waking up early because I hate waking up early. If if you talk to anyone who knows me, I hate waking up early in the morning. I am I am definitely a person who will sleep until eleven o'clock or, or noon if no one interrupts me. And having to wake up at five fifty in the morning and then having to go to sleep sometimes at a, like after eleven because I have to stay up late doing AP homework, then yeah, it can be kind of a struggle. And I, I need my caffeine. <laughs> I need coffee. Oh my god. Anyways, and then probably AP classes. Not really AP Psych this year. AP Psych has been okay. Not too bad. AP World now. Most of the tests aren't too bad. It's just doing the reading checks, which is where you have to take, like, at least you have to take notes on, like, certain pages in the textbook, and it can take a very long time when you're just writing note after notes after notes at least you can use them on on the little quizzes but sometimes what's on the quiz is even something that you didn't even write in your notes and that can be quite aggravating and and this and this can just it's soul crushing yay okay that'll be all for this video looking forward to seeing you which is me in five years and the next part of this video, next location. Wonder where that could be. Could it be somewhere in my house? Probably because I don't like filming anywhere else because people stare at me and think I'm creepy. Okay, bye! Hi, future me. This is just Charlie licking herself. Well, um, yeah, she doesn't really do much else. Oh, of course, she'll still be around in five years when you see this again. But I guess this is her, I guess sort of younger. Hey Charlie. <laughs> oh, you like it. You you totally don't want to bite my hand off. Anyways, this That's well, th th this cat's very special to me and very special to you because I'm the one who will be viewing this in 5 years. So, I know this isn't exactly like a totally new location, but there's cat there, so yeah. Anyways, let's just get it back to me before this drags on too long. Cat. Okay, next question. What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? Hmm. And that would have to be that like I've just kind of learned this like that. It's never good to try to like try to 
make yourself fit in. It, you, you want friends that like you for you, not friends who like you for like who you pretend to be. Because I've, as I admit, like I've always tried to like please people and and think that the only way people like me is that if I fit myself to their norms. And I'm like, screw them. If they don't want to be my friend, if they think I'm a little too weird, then, then they don't have to be my friend, and, and they're bad, and weird, and ew. But anyways, um, this is something I learned, just be yourself. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it'll really make, it'll make high school better knowing that you, you, just, you do you. You do you. Next question. No, not in a dirty way. Mom, stop it. Um, is there anyone at AHS you would like to thank? Who and why? I think it would probably be my two AP teachers this year, Mr. Mellon and Coach Russell. Well, of course, Coach Russell, he's my, he was my swim and water polo coach. And I, I think he's really helped me kind of develop as a person, kind of like come out of my shell a little, learn how to be on a team, learn how to <laughs> deal with coaches yelling at you. He doesn't yell at me that much. Coach Delgado does more, most of the yelling. You'll remember this. You'll totally remember this. And I guess Mr. Mellon, I guess he's just really helped me like understand like that that you define your own success and not to let like basically not let haters ruin your day because there always will be people that try to bring you down and try to make you feel like you can't amount to anything. But you just gotta just know that this is what I define as success and as if I achieve this goal, then being super rich doesn't even matter because you've achieved your own personal happiness, which I think is far more important in my book, personally. Let's see if we could do another question. <gasps> we can. Let's see. If you could go back to any time in high school, what would you do different? Well, I'm only a sophomore, so... I don't think, well, there's not, like, much I regret not doing in high school because I'm not, like, a senior where you have, like, four years. But, um, I don't know. I think, well, I kind of well, regret, what do you do different? Okay. I, I, I'd like to do swim my, my freshman year, but I don't, I don't know if I'd be ready for that. I really needed water polo because... The swimming in water polo, it's not as hard as in swim. Don't let any people tell you different. Um, anyways, and why am I talking like I'm talking to someone else? It will just be me in five years anyways. Silly me. Um, let's, okay. And also, there's not much I regret so far in my high school career. I've, I've, I've made some good friends. I've... I've gotten really good grades, like, I don't know, this is not much else I can really regret that I did in high school, high school so, so far, who knows, down the line, but I guess that's just about it for this video. There's two more locations to go, you're almost done with this video, and you'll be watching this in two years, wondering why your younger self was such a weirdo. Okay, bye! And welcome to my game room. As you can probably guess, video games are played here. Who knew? Oh, gasp. Anyways, um, next question is favorite movie. That is a tough one because <laughs> if it's this year, then that narrows it. I guess the New Adventures movie was very good. It wasn't as good as the old one. Don't, don't call me a huge movie critic here, but personally, it was it was way better. Well, the the old one was. Anyways, um, hmm. As I said, this is kind of a tough one because there's. There were actually some good movies out this year, and, um, gosh, I can barely remember what I had for dinner yesterday. I, 
Oh wait, I had tacos. That's right. Anyways, but favorite movie this year. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to go trace back from the beginning to I'm guessing it counts this school year too. Okay. Um Hmm. Can't I always had to stick with the Avengers Age Voltron. It was a good movie. I liked it. I like the action movies. Yeah. That makes me cool, right? Right? No. Not at all. Okay, next, well, the penultimate question is, what is your favorite song? Um, uh, uh, uh. Gosh, I hope it's not my favorite song this year, because there was not much good out this year. Um... If it's like, uh, or if it's a new song I heard this year, but it's older, um, that's that's because my all-time favorite song. Well, it's my all-time favorite song is one I've I've listened to like for a couple years now. It's, but I'll just mention that song. At the, it'd probably be like, um, well, for my favorite song, it'd probably have to be um, "Stairway to Heaven" by by Led Zeppelin. It's a classic. It's a really good song. It, it brings back very good memories. It's, it's it's just a really good song. Even though it's like seven minutes long, it's like uh, when when it's like you don't want it to end though, because it's it's a really great song. Um, for this year, um, for well for the whole school year, I guess um. Pompeii by Bastille was really good. It's a good song. You should you should you should look it up if you haven't listened to it in a while. Let's just say five years. Hmm. And um, uh, yes, Imagine Dragons was pretty good this year. Um, I can't think of the name of the song. It's like it goes like um. Um, how did the song go? Remember when I told you that's the last you'd see of me? Remember when I broke down the tear? I took the path that you would never want for me. I gave you hell throughout the years. That's a song. Oh, I, um, I'll think, I'll think of the name later. But, that's, and those were those have been some actually pretty good songs this year that I liked. So it wasn't all crap this year, though there was a lot of crappy songs this year. And yeah, and that pretty much concludes this video. So this one last shot to take, and you are done. And you will be, and you're 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 almost free. You're almost there. Okay, bye. Okay, this is my final, my, just wrapping it up here. Um, like where I am right now, I'm in an awesome relationship with a guy from Wakaiva. I know, boo, Wakaiva, but he's really sweet. He teach, he treats me like a princess, and he's one of the most important things to me right now. He, he's helped me from, he's helped me with some tough stuff. And he, he's just been there, just so supportive all along the way. I love him. I genuinely love him. People are like, no, you're too young to fall in love. And I'm like, no, that's, that's bull crap. I, I, do, I believe it's true. I know it's true. Okay, before I get too teary-eyed here, let's just talk about other happier... Well, not, well, not, like, not like that's, ha being in a relationship's unhappy, it's very happy, very, it's a very great relationship. I, I think it's a lot deeper than a lot of high school relationships, because most, of, it's like, some of the time you don't even see boyfriends and girlfriends, like, holding hands, it's like, 
are you two complete strangers? How do I even know that you're dating? How do I know you, you, you know each other? What if? Okay, before I get all conspiracy theorist here. Um, I'm sorry if I wasn't able to get all the places I put on the paper. I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable filming in public and people are watching and judging and uh, thinking that I'm talking to myself or I'm some, oops, sorry, let me fix the camera, camera angle, uh, my arm stiff, um, just, I don't know, it's like, I just don't want people to think like, oh my gosh, look at that weirdo talking to herself on the camera, yippers. Anyways, I am in the car right now. I decided this would be a, a fitting place because it kind of represents like all the all the paths you can go and how cars take you from place to place. And just, I've actually had this minivan actually for about a year now. The old one had to be scrapped because it was falling apart and being. Anyways, I am just rambling on. I apologize. I am sorry. So, I, I'm in a pretty good point in my life right now, actually. Summer vacation's almost here. You're going to be a junior next year, which will be exciting. And I'll probably be a lot more stressed next year because I'll be taking four AP classes. Woo! You'll remember this. And you may probably have less hair on the top of your head in five years because due to pulling out all of your hair from it. Yay! Okay, anyway, so serious aside, I life's actually pretty good right now. It's it's not horrible. It's like I don't really have any like sob stories. Nothing really bad happened this year. Just it's, I've had some, like little ups and downs, but they're able to be all resolved in the end and. I think that's what high school is all about, just surviving those waves. It's, even though it looks like you're about to drown, the life preserver brings you back up, and it's just a great feeling. It's just it's a great roller coaster of life, am I right? You know, you'll probably have more experience with this now, like five years from now, and when you're living with your, with your baby, well, Jim, who's my boyfriend. I actually have a boyfriend. I'm, I'm not that antisocial. Yay! <laughs> I'm not a complete loser. Okay, stop so pitying. Stop it. Anyways, that about wraps it up. And it's it's been a good, a good sophomore year. Did, did open myself up to more opportunities. And I'm, I'm glad I took those risks. And that is all for now. It's been a good sophomore year, and I will be seeing this video probably again in five more years. That seems like forever. And it's not really forever, because I know it'll probably go by fast, but I guess since, since I'm only 15, it seems like time goes by so much slower. Anyways, that's all for now, and... <laughs> wish I could just say something cool, like, like an awesome catchphrase or something, but, no, just farewell for now. See you soon. Bye. Alright, I'm Kevin Holloway. It is, uh, May 14th. I'm in my house, you know, just doing this dumb video that you made me do, okay? So, uh, best song of the year would have to be Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. I'm not going to sing it, so you can take off points for that. Go ahead, I don't care. Um, best movie of the year, probably Furious 7. So if I want to act it out, you know, I'm just driving. Just doing my thing, driving fast, furiously, you know. I think the next question was where will I be in 10 years? Well, hopefully not here, you know. Maybe the beach, making a lot of money, driving some nice cars, you know. 
I hope so. All right. So next place is my car. You know, I call it the green machine. It's green on the inside. You can't see it, but it's green. Green Ford Explorer. It's the green machine. Um, next question was, what's the most memorable moment of my four years? Um, I think it was the state championship game, 20, 2012. Being in band, like, the year before we went to the playoffs, it was nothing, you know? It was one game. We were out of there. Like, this was crazy. Like, just the run in general. It was insane. Playing Dr. Phillips at home in the semifinals. The atmosphere of that game. And then going to play in the Citrus Bowl. Like, as a band, is one of the coolest things ever. You sound awesome in there. It was pretty cool. And then, I think the next question was where, or like, what was my most memorable moment in DNN class? I think, I think it was probably that either the Thanksgiving thing this year, or just like, really any of the days this year. Like, having a class where everyone was friends with each other, and sort of like the, like, I don't know, it was just a good environment. Like, everyone was friends with everyone, and it was good to have something like that this year. It was cool. That was probably my most memorable moment. Let me get a, another question here. What was the most funniest thing that ever happened at a DNN class? This is at Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving thing. Uh, Stephen Whalen sucked whipped cream off of Gavin's finger for five dollars. It was something. Like, I know, I think there's a picture somewhere of it. I need to find it because that's hilarious. Probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. All right. All right. So this is the student parking lot. It counts as two, two places, you know, because this is not only my parking space but also the band practice field. Spent a lot of time there, you know. So it's two places for me. That's how I'm counting it, you know. One of the questions was, um, what's one thing you'll remember that Scahill did? And it was probably said when he always said that he doesn't care. Because that's really annoying. So, definitely that. And then, what is one major thing that I learned? Oh, the last four years. Or, I was only in there for two, so let's say two years. Uh, probably how to work with people. Or how... I wouldn't say to manage my time, because I did a horrible job of it. So it's not like I learned it there. But you definitely learn how to interact with people. Because, like, most videos you need people. You gotta learn how to get them to do what you want. You know, you gotta be nice to people and stuff. So it's sort of like people skills, I guess you can say. Didn't learn in the classroom. Alright, that's it for here. Alright, so this is my last one. Okay, my fifth place. This is uh, where I sit, okay, in DNN. That's why it's important to me. It's where I sit. It's where I do all my work. Not really a lot of work, a lot of video watching. I do a lot of YouTube on here. Got my clownfish background, if you can you see that. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is where the magic happens, you know. Not a lot of magic, but a little magic. So, this is why I chose to do it here. Alright, I got two questions left. If the, is there anyone at HS I'd like to thank? Well, he's not at HS anymore, but it'd probably be Mr. Cannon. Who's, he was the band teacher for three years. Um, dude was like my dad for like a long... He, he's, he's just a cool guy. Like, always like there for me and stuff. Probably Skate Hill too. Good to have someone to like... I don't know. It was just an easy class you could go to and relax, you know. But you still did some work, but... He was just a good guy. Good guy. Next one is... Wrap it up. How would you like to remember me? Um... Probably is the guy that never did anything, you know? The guy that didn't care, just like to have fun. I'd, I'd rather be that than some try-hard, do everything all the time, so. I think I like that, you know? Just the slacker that didn't do much, so. Yeah, I'll take it. That's me, Kevin Holloway. April 14th, or May. I don't even know. Yep. So, hi. I'm Kayla Terrell. It's me, live in the flesh. So I'm doing this. Well, first, let me start off by saying I always wanted to pretend like I was doing um a vlog because I always wanted to be a YouTuber because I thought they were so cute. But as you know, 
the way my life set up, YouTube, me, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna go together. So I'm doing my video diary for Apopka High School's DNA. So first question. Where will you be in 10 years? Okay, so in 10 years, I plan to have graduated from college. Don't really know where I'm going yet. Gotta get that together. And also, I want to be a barber slash bartender slash radio personality. So in 10 years, I plan to be like the like the most the well like I don't even know how to phrase that well known the most well known I don't know I don't care I plan to be like super well known barber bartender like everybody want me at their parties like oh Kayla we want Kayla we want Kayla but that's of course after I drop the weight you know and look like Beyonce so so next question what was your most memorable moment at Apopka High School? I don't really have any memorable moments due to the fact that I can't stay in this school. Like, I really, I genuinely hate Apopka High School. And I don't know, I think I just got apopka I don't know what that means. I just made it up right then. But, yeah, I don't, I, I just, uh, 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 oh, Jesus, yeah. I didn't have a memorable moment. But, yeah. So, number three. What was the most memorable moment from DNN or TV class? Most memorable moment. When I seen myself on TV acting a fool, singing all these songs. Like, literally, I sound good when I sing. But that day? <laughs> That day, that day wasn't the one. That day was ugly. Well, I wouldn't say ugly because that don't even make sense. But that day was like, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing that? What's wrong with you? Yeah, and to see like myself on TV and like see other people. And like, they thought it was funny as in, oh, that girl, no, she sound bad. Why she singing all that like that? But it's just the fact of like... I wasn't even looking cute that day when I was singing them songs. He could have at least recorded me on a cute day. Dang, Skate Hill, why you didn't record me on a cute day? A cute day. And you guess what? I just got out the shower. I got in my bed, I got comfortable, and I sat down on my bed and I said, You know what? I need to talk to the camera. I need to tell them how I'm feeling and start answering these questions. So, that's what I'm doing. And my next question question what was the funniest thing that ever happened from a dnn tv class um i don't really know i mean it was kind of funny hearing elias talk about how he fought or he got in a fight with some boy but everybody and their mama know he ain't fighting nobody he probably got beat up he probably did you y'all probably know that boy got beat up, so. Hmm. <clears throat> he probably got beat up. I wouldn't be surprised. Y'all like my blanket? It smells so good. Cause like I wash them like once a week. I try to at least, but sometimes Chuck E. Cheese just have me going all over the place. And yeah, guys, this is my vlog <laughs> see i want to be on youtube so bad like if i was on youtube i'd probably be the baddest thing out here you know like follow me on youtube follow my channel no but too bad i'm not you know it's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to get this money for the rent because it's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to get this money for the rent that's the only part of the song I know. I wish I knew like the rest, but I don't. That's the thing about me. I need to learn the rest of the words to these songs. Because I be singing and I don't know the rest of the words. Like, 
what's that song? It's like an Usher song. I don't know, man. I just be. I just, I don't know. I'm confused. What am I talking about? I'm kind of just rambling. But I want, I want Skate Hill and everybody on YouTube that will see this eventually to hear whatever I was thinking in my mind. Because apparently I was diagnosed with ADD in second grade. So apparently I got attention deficit disorder. And yeah, sometimes I don't pay attention. Okay, maybe all the time I don't pay attention. And then y'all got to get me back on track. But guess what? This is a video diary. Ain't got to be on track as long as I answer my question. So, yeah. I did. Eh. So, if you would like to meet me, just call the Popka High School. Because I'll be in senior class of 2016. Dang, I'm going to be old. Skate Hill. It's going to be old. He already old. He's 60. But, yeah. Stay in school and don't do drugs. Y'all know that's like my my catchphrase. I don't, know, I don't even think that's a catchphrase. Is it? No. Not really. But, night, night. Sleep tight. See ya. See you guys tomorrow for vlog number two. So, I'm back again. With some more questions for Skit Hill <clears throat> for my video diary. And I'm sitting in this busted behind car. But I love my baby. She's my babe. I love you, Cindy. Okay. So um what was the hardest thing about high school? High school was so hard because like Basically, you do everything yourself. Like, you don't have a teacher saying, Oh, make sure you write your name on your paper. The, like, there's been so many times where I didn't get a grade because I didn't write my name on the paper. Like, how, how am I supposed to remember that? Like, how am I supposed to remember to write my name on paper? But, I guess I'm supposed to remember that because, you know, I'm in high school now. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, it was just, like, the hardest thing was, like, you don't have anybody telling you exactly what to do. You you got to do it yourself. You got to figure it out. So, next question. What is one major thing that you learned that you didn't learn in the classroom? Oh, I know this one. Um, One thing I learned that I didn't learn in the classroom is that even though you try to play nice with people, it just don't work out. Like, some people just don't like you for no reason. They don't have a reason. I mean, I know I don't like people for some reason. I have to have a reason before I say, oh, I don't like you. But sometimes, you know how you can just get that vibe where you don't like nobody. Like, sometimes that's enough to say, oh, I don't like him or her. Or I don't like somebody. So, yeah. That's it, too. And I think that's all I want to answer for today because, like, but yeah, I just wanted to say hi. You know how you wake up and you say, I need to tell them something. So, I'm up. It's Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Hey. So, yeah. See you next time. So, I'm in my bigger place in the whole world. My shower. I love taking showers. And I'm about to answer some more questions. So, next question. If I could go back in time in high school, what would I do different? I would probably go back to the time when a certain person who shall remain nameless. You know what? Ain't no secrets. When a girl named Ruby I don't even know her. She don't know me. She just seen me around school. She gonna talk about, I don't like that girl. She always talk about people. She she can't hold water. Blah, 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 blah. Girl, you don't know me. 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 You, 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 you don't know me. So yeah, 
I want to go back to when she said she didn't like me. So I thought, whoop that, what, whoop, whoop that, what, whoop, whoop that trick. Hey, whoop that trick. Not really. I just want to, I just, I should have said it straight back when I heard that she said something. Cause like, you don't know me. What, what, why do you not like me? Name one thing. Cause you don't even know my last name. I just found out what your name was. And your booty shaped like Spongebob. Spongebox. No, Spongebob. So, yeah. If I could go back, I'd go back to that time. Cause she would've got that. Business. 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 Yeah, she would've got that. Okay. What is my favorite movie? I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I don't really know. Is that a good African accent? I don't really know if I have a good African accent. I think I do. My favorite movie. I mean, I would really, really have to think about this. I've seen so many good movies in my life that I don't know. And they're all like old movies. None are like brand new movies. Like Pitch Perfect, they're, Pitch Perfect in general work really good movies but I want to say a good movie of all time so that would either be like I don't know I can't even tell you like mm, I was gonna say either higher learning Crooklyn, these two movies, these are like black people movies, like if you're black, like regular black, not Haitian, not African, not, cause Haitian not even black, but if you're not, if you're black, a black American, you black, that's all you know, then you've seen those movies and if you haven't, your parents have failed you, they have failed you, you're supposed to at least see Crooklyn once in your life. Because if you black, you know, you know. So, yeah. And, um, I'm going to go with favorite movie is Crooklyn. Mm, I don't know. This is a hard question. <sighs> I don't know. So, I'm going to go with Crooklyn for right now. And if I change my mind, I'm going to come back and tell y'all my favorite movie. Because for right now, that's all I can think about. That and Shrek, like, I love all Shrek movies. Every movie Shrek made, that was a good-ass movie. Shrek, Shrek, that's my nigga, so. Shrek and Crooklyn, those, those are good movies. So, yeah. I'll see you guys on another day. In another place. At a different time, <laughs> I should be a rapper. What do you think? But yeah, let me go. Let me go. Yeah, let me go. I don't know why I feel like I'm not giving it enough. Like, you know? Because it's, it's really hard out here for a parent. Like, I don't know how many times. That is a good movie. That might be my favorite movie if I all, I don't even know what that, oh, it's called Hustle and something. Hustle and Roll or Roll and Hustle. Something Hustle. That was a good movie because Taraji P. Henson, she did that. Because it's hard out here for a pill when you're trying to get the money for the rent. I mean, I ain't really trying to get no money for no rent because, you know, I'm, I'm my own child. And I, I live with my mom because my parents got divorced when I was in the freaking third grade thanks mom thanks dad i'm screwed up insane in the brain hey insane in the membrane hey insane in the brain insane in the membrane so yeah i'm kind of messed up because of that i wouldn't go with messed up i'm just saying um, hey insane in the brain insane in the membrane so yeah i'm kind of messed up because of that I wouldn't go with messed up, I'm just saying. I'm a little scarred, you know. So, something like that. But, um, I'll see y'all next time. 
I forgot to even pretend like this was a vlog. <laughs> Cause that's how you know I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I gotta forget that I was doing a vlog. So, yeah. Call me, beat me if you wanna reach me. See, I can't even get my exit right. Watch this. Call me, beat me if you wanna reach me. Okay, so I had switched locations because I got sleepy, but I just, I had a flashback, no, I had an epiphany. I remember what the movie's called now, it's called Hustle and Flow, and it's Taraji P. Henson, um, see this one I mess up, what's his name? He always play like a bad person in every movie, um, I don't know, wait, this is... What's, what is his name? What is his man's name? Um, actors from Empire. Empire's cast includes Jesse Smollett, Taraji P. Henson, and others. Okay, uh, say others. Finish the others. Okay, so... It is Terrence Howard. He is like the main character in Hustle and Flow. And then um, Taraji P. Henson plays like his baby mama or something like that. And they're selling drugs so he could become a music star. It's basically like another Hustle and Flow. The Empire show. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Hustle and Flow right now. So, yeah. Just think about it. By the time y'all see this or anybody sees this, it's going to be like 20... 20 it might be 2020 and like this galaxy s5 gonna be thinking like what kind of phone did you have in your hand and i'm like bitch i had the hottest thing i had. when when this phone was at i was hot hot on the block you know you know that one song what wait let me find it all right so i just had to come back again to show y'all this throwback song like, if you, I don't know, if your daddy, I don't know, I can't even say that. So, I just know that if you were, like, big into hip-hop in the 2000s, in the, in the 90s, it don't matter. I was born in 98, and I listened to everything from the 90s to up until now. Like, I'm just a music fanatic. Like, I know, I think I know every song there's ever been invented, except for, like, Screamo and, um... Yeah, screamo. <laughs> I don't really like country that much, but somehow I end up listening to it. But anyways, this is that um, 3-6 Mafia song. All right. So I seen a picture that made me like want to tell y'all about this. I seen a picture of a lady licking a knob, a piece of corn that was melting. Um, A man giving a check to a lady at the like... A cash register at a bank, and then um, a a lady at work, like like you know the little women can do it too, like that kind of poster where the lady was, she was yeah. So I seen that and like everybody they was like put it together and I'm like put it together and then like I started people seeing people like piece it together and then I get it now. So I'm a, I'm gonna give you what I figured out it was. Slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. Check in with me and do your job. Lay on the bed and give me head. Don't have to ask, don't have to beg. Juicy is my name. What sex is my game? Call all the boys. Let's run a train. Yeah, I'm not going to sing the rest because that's too much for y'all ears. And then y'all gonna be like, you was 17 and, I mean, you was, you was young and you was listening to that type of stuff. Like, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I can feel you, I can feel you judging me right now. You don't know my life. You, you don't, you don't know. But yeah, you see it. Yeah. I just, I felt like I had to share that, you know? So, so yeah, I just felt like I had to share that. So, whatever. But stay in school, don't do drugs. And get your teeth whitened once a month. 
so I decided to continue with the idea of a vlog and I'm at school right now and I have to like pick my favorite song so my favorite song was like the whole Beyonce self-titled Beyonce like Beyonce was everything this year or last year hey what year did that that Beyonce like that whole new CD come out that you know that Beyonce CD that came out what year did that come out did that come out this year or last year okay so I guess it was this year my arm hurt I had switch arms I'm, I'm making I'm I'm vlogging yeah so yeah I'm gonna go with like the whole Beyonce CD it wasn't just one song it was like so if I can use like a whole medley it would be that and then like but in general my favorite song was um, it was that rocket song um, let me sit this wait no um rock hard steady rock that song and it was like um rock it to waterfall that song y'all ain't know i sound like that no i didn't sound good but hey and like my final thing was like guys i mean they said high school goes by fast but that's not true because as you see um i'm still a junior if it went by so fast i would have been graduating this year but i'm not and you know so stay in school don't do drugs 